Greetings everybody, this is Brett Sullivan here. Welcome back to the channel. We are uh, working with the H90 and I wanted to give you guys a really, really quick look at connecting the H90 software as we're going to do right now. So my pedal is sitting on the desktop and uh, today is just going to be a quick look at the screen. Uh, when it opens up, you see different users. Uh, user 1 basically recalls all the factory programs 1 through 99 and I'm going quickly so this is just to give you an idea for you uh, people who are H9 owners and you remember how it was getting your phone out connecting to Bluetooth and having to edit or you scrolling through a lot of menus on the physical pedal itself this is totally opposite this is a easy workflow uh, you can work on the fly with your pedal you've seen my other video you can twist the knobs turn knobs get your settings that we want save them or you can come in here and look at what Eventide team has created, which is all the factory programs. Uh, so this is their main list, which is user one. This is their factory list, which is uneditable. However, if you copy right here and you like that sound, you go over to uh, your user list. This is my user list. It's all over the place. This is my work list. And I just find an empty program and I paste it. And there it is. And now I can edit from here. So these are those individual parameters that you can edit and turn to your liking, and then you'll click Save. Remember we were talking about how the H9 only has one algorithm or one sound per preset or program. This has two. So uh, if you edit here, and you like what you hear, you might want to uh, name this my clean, just my clean tone. And we're going to save it right here. It's saved now on the pedal, and it's saved in the program. And then I can export this to my desktop and save it in a folder. That way I back it up. Also down here, there's a bulk export. It exports everything you've done, including your factory programs and your user lists. And then, of course, saves it in the pedal. The pedal is connected. There we go. It's saving my bulk user list. I'm just going real quickly here. As I mentioned, this is just for those of you who are looking at the H90 and wondering how to edit it real easy. Um, programs. This is the factory user list. Of course, you want to think about what sound you're looking for. I'm looking for a delay that pops up in this list here, or I'm looking for a delay with reverb that pops up here, and that gives you a program, and that lets you instantly choose two algorithms, which you're going to see over here it appears in the program right away so the work is done for you the minute you click on this the program is sitting there waiting for you to audition um, over here we're going to go back to uh, our program that I was looking at uh, this changed now because I clicked on that program but it doesn't matter we're just going to keep looking at the uh, options you have here this is routing inserts something that doesn't exist on any eventide product at least on a pedal uh, that you own out there this is routing inserts we can choose how we're going to plug in a pedal say if you plug in a compressor pedal or a distortion pedal or some type of overdrive or just another h9 pedal you decide how you want that pedal to sound in your loop it's like a virtual programmable effects bay so series parallel mono stereo those options are all there for you and that means you uh, decide how it sounds best when you're auditioning your pedal and then you save that. That way you have this preset saved to activate your pedal or bring your pedal into the signal chain. And then this one over here, so if you go over to another program, the pedal's off now because you didn't save it. And that means it's it's like adding a third pedal. And you're already, uh, it's adding a third pedal in those two uh, algorithms that are going. Ben, I've been recording all morning, so if I'm stuttering a little bit, <laughs> It's like songwriting, recording, and then come and play with more software so you guys get a chance to look at what I'm seeing when I'm editing my H9. All right, so that's the routing inserts menu. Control assignments, people love this because they're buying an H90 because you want hands-on capability. However, that hands-on capability is because of an amazing architecture. There's three foot switches on the H90, but they're all programmable up to six options. So foot switch one, allows you to choose one of these options. Everything you see here, foot switch two, gives you those options. Foot switch three, gives you another option. And then when you 
hit your perform button, that takes you into another bank of options and the same preset. And you can program those. You can choose those and choose those. And that's just so cool. The quick knobs, of course, are, are assignable too. So if you want a quick knob to do a function, any one of the functions you see here, you can save it to do that. And those quick knobs are what live uh, instrumentalists will do when they reach down and want to grab their pedal and change the sound during a, a performance. The preset library, once again, you saw the screen already where it allows you to look at the factory sounds. And I want to say that's basically it. When I first plugged in the software, that's what I was looking at. Only later did I get over here and start looking into what all this means and what it's going to do. And those are uh, menus that I don't uh, venture to. This is the user list that I've been using and altering programs. If you check my other video, uh, it was a quick video on seven things that I like the H90 does that my H9 didn't. You also see me mentioning this software and you'll see uh, some of my presets. Somebody asked about 1978. So I thought I'd upload my EVH early years presets. Uh, keep in mind these early years presets are just algorithms that we're using from the pedal. It depends on your amp and how you plug in your pedals, how these will affect the sound. These are programmed to react to the Weed Whacker, which is a good distortion preset, but it's not uh, by any means uh, a diehard EVH source for tone. It's a, it, I got it as close as I could, um, but you take the Weed Whacker out of the, oh, I forgot to talk about bypassing. If you want to just use one algorithm and you've got some distortion going and you want uh, some phaser and some delay, you'd get rid of this, obviously. But uh, you can save how your programs load, just like the H9 did, you would save certain parameters on and off. And then uh, real quick talking about the tape delay, my favorite effect, which is headspace. Uh, this has so many options to change on the fly. You could program your controller pedal to it, or you can just have these available to use on hand uh, when you're us physically using the pedal, which is what I like to do. All right, so that wraps up my quick look at the H90 control, downloadable from eventideaudio.com. Uh, thanks for coming by the channel and checking out uh, what I've been posting about the pedal. I'm so excited about using this pedal. Uh, Eventide's made a product that really is targeted at uh, old school users who want to flip switches on a pedal and kick the pedal around and use the pedal and not have to use any software. However, this software is so incredibly logical, I wouldn't see why you wanted to give it a shot. It is downloadable for Windows and Mac users. And hope you guys have a great week. And uh, please subscribe if you have a uh, second to hit the subscribe button and put your request below about any other features that I haven't mentioned uh, on the pedal. This is my first week with the pedal, so I'm getting into the features as some of you are. And if you're an H9 user and refuse to budge, it's all good. But I definitely encourage you at least give this pedal a try at the uh, Sam Ash or Guitar Center or wherever you shop. You can physically get a hold of it. And uh, thanks again. Have a good weekend. Brev Sullivan out.